Hey everybody out there in YouTube land. I wanted to talk to you today about uh, the ATM business. And this particular video is from my uh, series, actually my product, which is the, the, the ATM mogul uh, product. And that uh, this training here is gonna teach you a little bit more about the ATM uh, machine business where you open, uh, where you, you uh, own your own ATMs and a lot more, there's, there's a huge, uh, a lot of information, but I wanted just to kind of open your eyes to it. So I wanted to release this video to you for free. If you want to get on uh, a coaching call with me and, and uh, get some consultation about the ATM business, um, you could contact me at thepostrepreneur at gmail.com and then we can uh, set something up for you. But uh, without further ado, here's the video. Hi, welcome back to the training. And in one of the previous videos, I talked about going through and accounting for your revenue and your expenses okay so we're gonna take we're gonna talk about what happens to your personal income how do you how do you account for your personal income now for yourself okay when you when you have got all your expenses paid they're done and paid you paid your uh, you paid your your supplier for your transaction fees uh, to use the ATM network you've already paid your uh, cash services if you chose to do so, which is quite a bit of money, but uh, you have to expense that. And if after you have paid your business owner, if you've offered them a percentage for a profit share, then you're gonna go ahead and talk about, let's talk about what you're gonna do. So to pay, there's two, with the income that's left, or the profit that's left over, okay? So you're gonna have your profit, okay? Now, out of the profit, there's going to be three different chains, okay? The first chain, or first branch, is going to be the business. So, just because you made, let's say, $3,000 that month off of that ATM, um, after you've expended everything, that doesn't mean you're going to take all that $3,000 and pay yourself, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to take... You're going, to, you're going to have that money that money sit in your business. The reason why you're going to have it sit in your business is because you're still running a business. <laughs> you're going to need to have money to, uh, to expend um, out of your, uh, your business for, to purchase new ATMs. You're going to need it for business trips. You're going to need it for expending um, uh, gasoline, gasoline to travel, your so travel expenses. So that's why your, your, your money is going to go to your business. Okay, it's going to go in there in your business account anyway, but you're going to don't don't think you're just going to take that all out because if you do, you're going to set yourself up for some uh, some issues in the future. So the third or the second branch of this is going to be for yourself. So you're going to pay yourself a salary, okay, out of this, okay. So you're going to pay your salary out of that profit to yourself. And you're going to write a check. You're going to write a check to yourself from your business checks, from your business account, from your LLC business account. You're going to write a check to yourself. And in, in the uh, memo portion, it's going to say member distribution. So that money is like your payment. You also... Uh, if, and that, that's if, if you're just you doing this by yourself, that's a way to, ex, to, uh, to cover your income. Now remember, also, you're going to be speaking to a CPA to make sure that you follow this process uh, uh, at the best way possible so that there aren't any more, there aren't any issues. Now, with this, following this method here, you shouldn't have any issues at all. But like I said, I recommend that you just talk to a CPA just to, you know, just to uh, to ensure that you're doing this properly. And now the second, now this third, this third branch here, this third branch only, I'm only speaking of if you have an employee. Okay, so if you have an employee or employees, you're going to use payroll services. That is a, yeah. Okay. Now, when we start talking about moving this direction to employee employees, 
Of course, you have will have probably scaled at that point in time, but employ your employees, you're going to use payroll services. Now, the reason that I'm saying and recommend you use payroll services is so that there's, again, rolling back to tax time, there's no issues when it comes to taxes on what you should pay. And also, you can have these payroll services, you could get those from your bank. Okay, so from your bank or your, your financial institution you use, if you use a credit union, they, 99% of them offer payroll services since you're opening a business account to help take out the money from your business banking account, which is gonna be this, and send that to your employees as far as checks are concerned. Of course, you're gonna to have to pay a fee, but remember, all of these things are gonna be automated, so you're not gonna worry about them at all. You're just gonna put these processes in place and automate them, and then that's it. You will see how less of a headache it is after this is all done, okay? So, starting off right now, you'll, you'll just make sure that you have these two covered. Yourself, you're gonna pay yourself when, it's, when you're profitable. You're gonna pay yourself a member distribution. One quick little note on that. Um, <laughs> you're not gonna to wanna to pay yourself an extravagant, a lavish amount of money for your member distribution. You're gonna pay, want to pay yourself in, increment, in incremental steps um, as a CEO. And and I think the the uh, the correct way to look at it at it is you want to pay yourself what a CEO would of a company would normally get paid as far as this is concerned. Something that is. Uh, uh, kind of there's not a specific monetary number but something that is seen as being reasonable okay I think the word is reasonable okay so you want to pay yourself a reasonable profit from that of whatever it may be to reasonable to you may be reasonable to someone else but it, you just don't want to go you know for your own sake you don't want to go crazy and pay yourself like you know 50 50 grand a month <laughs> when you're pulling in 60 grand in profit so that might be you know that might be seen as 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 possibly an issue and you might get looked at by uh, the IRS or something like that so remember um, so your profits and expenses I'm talking about this profit here I'm talking about you've already paid taxes okay so taxes I'm not talking we're, we're profit everything has been expended already the only thing that you need to pay is the business your business and yourself okay so yourself your own business your ATM business the money in this here stays there and you just send out money to these two entities yourself to pay for yourself as AT, ATM owner and CEO you get your own income your own money that you get because that's your, your paycheck and then the paycheck to your employee or employees okay I hope this has been helpful and it kind of lets you know kind of where the money, the profit money should, should flow. Uh, feel free to please talk to a CPA and get at more advice on this if you need it. And that's pretty much the end of this training. See you in the next video. All right, if you see me right now, that means that you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for watching the video. And I just wanted to add that if you wanted a little bit more information about the uh, my training, you can go ahead and click on one of the videos in the uh, that that was uh, one of the cards in the entire video, or go to my channel, the Postpreneur, and there is a complete uh, playlist about ATM, uh, the ATM business, and the and how it works, and, and things of that nature. So just get yourself educated. If it's something that you want to uh, learn a little bit more about, you can get a free one-on-one -on -one coaching consultation call with me, a free twenty-minute one-on-one -on -one consultation coaching call with me just uh click on the email link below it's at the at gmail.com and then in their request say hi hey, i would like to get a free coaching call and then we could set i'll send you an email and we'll set up a free coaching call through skype or zoom or something of that nature now um after we do the coaching call uh you could just decide uh what you want to do from there but I'm also going to be uh, offering a couple of more little tidbits for you. So stay tuned to the channel and subscribe and see you in the next video.